What's poppin' everybody? This is the Cartoon Kid, Ray Rollins, and today for our weekly first impression segment, we're checking out the new series from Nickelodeon called It's Pony. And the reason why we're doing this is for our upcoming segment, new this week on Saturday, we're doing a review of episode two of It's Pony called Beatrice, I believe it is. Something recently released this week. But for this episode, we're talking about the episode Plants. So, why don't we kill two birds with one stone? Check out the series before we do the new this week segment. So it won't be as floundered, I guess you could say, as you were with the Mike Tyson's mystery series. So before we get into breaking this episode down, we got Mr. Alex Payne here to give us the episode breakdown. So what happens in this episode? Well... Um, apparently Ani, which is the name of the, um, the protagonist, I guess. Um, I suppose you could say that. I mean, technically the protagonists are Annie and Pony, but you know, yeah, she's yeah. one of the two protagonists. Anyway, the main character, one of the main characters, <laughs> Annie, who owns Pony, who has got this, a pony. He has a very weird design. I know that's review, but anyway. So they're going camping, but after an incident with some phony plans, Pony has a very serious irrational fear of plants and Annie has to help him get over his fear so they could go on the camping trip. Now I'll say for my first thoughts, this episode has a very interesting feel to it. It feels like a slice of life calm type of atmosphere uh-huh. to it. I guess you could say. Like that's how it feels at least to me, that's how it kinda of, it has that calmish type of I don't even know, because calm isn't necessarily the right word. It just has a certain feeling to it, I guess. And and you know what? You're right. And it's funny, because whenever we do these new This Week segments, and you you know, you're in charge of getting the show and whatnot, in charge of that, and you read a review, and in, in the little review on IMDb, I believe it was, yeah. it even said that this is a slice of life type show. And me personally, I'm really into that stuff. Like, I'm a big consumer of anime. I mean, I'm, there's plenty of people who watch way more anime uh, than me. But one thing in that little genre of animation is that people claim when you have a cartoon like Naruto or Dragon Ball or something like that, and they do a more chill filler t- style episode with one of the characters and, you know, get to see them in everyday life, you know, slice of life. And people normally don't like that stuff. Me, however, I love that shit. Because you see way more character de- development. And, you know, you can see the character out of the series, in a sense. You know, doing something that's not relatively normal to the se- series. And that's relaxing and having, you know, a normal day in their life. Now, obviously, as you said, this episode, and we're going to go off the base and say this entire series is like this. It's a slice of life type series, okay? Which is something I'll enjoy. And I'm going to explain a little bit more when I get down to my review a little bit later. Um, My first thought initially is, man, we made several jokes, obviously, when we're not doing these reviews about us reviewing My Little Pony. Because, you know, this is the Cartoon Kid channel where we talk cartoons and we do it daily. And we are trying to have variety on our channel. And a lot of big cartoon reviewers uh, like Mysterious Mr. Ant, as you mentioned, did My Little Pony reviews. And, you know, we joked that we're, we're going to have to do it at one point um, simply because it's a very popular cartoon. Everybody knows it. And you threw that shit out there to me. And I'm like, man, we're two grown men talking about freaking cartoons. You know, <laughs> that's kind of strange in itself. But then we're going to be talking about a cartoon meant for, you know, female female children. It's just like, little girls, man. That's a girl show. My Little Pony is a girl show. But we're going to eventually talk about it on this channel. Apparently it's um, not that bad, though. No, and, and see, and that's the reason why I like doing these reviews. Because we get to dip our hand in every different type of pot just to sample little shit and be like, oh, okay, this is a good show. Ah, this is a bad show. And the reason why I brought that up is because, listen, with a show named It's Pony, you automatically think it's for, you know, little girls. Okay, I'm going to try to refrain from saying that because that just sounds weird, you know. But anyway, (laughs) despite that thought, really enjoy this episode. It was nothing that's like, okay, this is more catered towards uh, uh, females. 
it, this honestly is a show that even males can enjoy. And now, granted, is it up to a Courage the Cowardly Dog level where it comes to comedy and whatnot and enjoyment? I mean, Absolutely not. not. No, no, no. <laughs> no, I, I just want to make that reference because when it comes to, like, Slice of Life, I kind of think of Courage. Like, I mean, now, granted, I'm, I'm a little bit in a review territory here, but you can't compare these two episodes because they're not both Slice of Life. But it's just a different feel than what I'm honestly used to coming from anime and starting to join regular American cartoons. But I dribbled on long enough. I'm going to say the rest of what I got to say for my review. I'm going to let you start off with some of your standout moments in this episode. Well, one of my, one of my standout moments is when um, her, uh, Annie's friend, I can't recall her name, is trying to help Pony by doing the immersion therapy, which I'm pretty sure <laughs> she getting her terms confused. But hey, you know, I digress. And <laughs> And she tries to change the channel to a nature channel real quick and change it back. And the second she changes, the pony punches the fuck out of the TV and breaks it. That, that was funny to me. Um, it was funny to me when they was like flying in the air on the tent. And oh yeah, um, I can't. I wish I could remember the exact phrase she was she was using, but it's it's it sounded like one of those curse fake out type of um, jokes. Because I, I think she, I don't because I don't remember it either. Because he asked her like, how, how 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 did she um how did she think the count was going? And then she was like, well, I think it's a whole load of or something to that effect. And then that's when they hit the thing. Um, oh yeah. But I uh, but with the do- dealing with the dome though, another part I thought was funny was when he, she was like. Close your eyes and everything's gonna be alright and, and say everything's fine. He closes his eyes and then when he starts saying it, you can see him slowly start sliding down the side of the um, dome. I yeah, that was funny. yeah. Okay. I mean, I, I think there's a lot of good comedy moments in this episode. What's what's some of yours? Um, obviously, it's not a comedic moment. But it is one of the moments that stand out to me. It's like, because you see this do- being done in every single cartoon um, where it has to do with, like, convincing some someone of anything, honestly. For example, SpongeBob and his big habit episode with him biting his nails. The whole freaking, I want to say amnesia. That's not the right word. Um, oh, <laughs> hypnosis. hypnotherapy. Hypnotherapy. Yeah, there we go with that watch and it's like ah uh, here we go this again that's one thing we see over and over <laughs> in cartoons i'm pretty sure that's encouraged is it not i'm sure they use it at some point so it's something that's very overused but um the reason why i wanted to bring it up though it just felt like i guess you could say it's fitting in this <laughs> in this episode but not only that though it actually backfires because he's like, you should be afraid of plants. And then this freaking, I don't know what you want to call. She sounds Southern to me. But, um, no, no, French, French. There you go. I don't know why I was thinking Southern. But anyway, she ends up being scared of shit of plants. <laughs> and Pony, obviously, he still has his fears and whatnot. But I just like the whole scene afterwards where, you know, you basically see her have her little freak out moment. And she freaking does the whole Red Dead Redemption, you know, whip the pony. Yeah, yeah, let's go. <laughs> and the pony just takes off. So that's, I got to say that's one of my favorite moments right there. Um, Honestly, I got to say that has to be my utmost favorite moment of this episode. Like, you got to mention, obviously, the where Pony saves, Um, I wanted to call it Jasmine, Annie at that. Because <laughs> obviously they get stuck in like a plant forest or or tropical whatever the hell the the correct biological term of the area is i think it's called like bot- botany forest or whatever the hell but basically it's a forest full of plants basically <laughs> and i like how they uh they get stuck or, or after pony saves jasmine from you know the plants because she's uh, end up Annie. falling pony just yeah <laughs> she ends up he ends up running towards her catching her and whatnot do this cool little roll. Good animation on that, by the way. But they're behind. And then the Venus this flies big, off. Uh, yep, yep, that's what it's called. Eat him, I, I, mean. I sure forgot the name. Yeah, <laughs> the Venus flytrap basically eats Pony, and the 
the tour guide comes up to him. He's like, we got a huge Venus flytrap in over here. And you hear the thing starting to rumble. And he just pops out of it. He's like, pony! Because he's like, what's in it? And he's just, boom, pony! And <laughs> you just hear somebody just immediately snap a picture, yo. <laughs> that's that's me rolling. Um, but that's how Pony basically gets over his fear of plants, man. And the, the best way he got over it, obviously, you have a someone who he loves near and dear to his heart, basically in danger in a plant infested area. He had to run in there and save her. So it's a pretty, I guess you could say, interesting ending. I suppose that's not the word. But the only thing that really stood out to me in this episode personally is the way it was done. That's what I like about it. The way it was done, like, this is a Nickelodeon show, okay? And the, the, I'm getting my positive and negative right here, and I'm going in my re- review. This is a Nickelodeon show, okay? With the name, it's Pony. As I said earlier, this is a show that I consider to be for girls. Now, obviously, me and my buddy, Mr. Alex Payne here, are adults, for one. With a show with Pony in the title, you didn't think it'd be suited for males, honestly. But this, I feel, is very enjoyable simply because it doesn't cater to a female audience. It has a Pony as one of the main protagonists, and it centers very heavily on comedy. Now, after reading that review on IMDb where you know they said this is like, oh, look, this is one of the greatest cartoons out there uh, today... Could it be correct? Perhaps. But in my opinion, I gotta say this was an interesting show. Now, I'm not going to say it's the greatest out there, but I will say it's good. What I like about this episode is that I'm I my expectations were exceeded from it. OK, I didn't come into this episode thinking that I like it a lot. Now, I'm not going to sit here and down it and be like, oh, man, this show isn't for me or, or I didn't think this show was going to be as good as it was, because it, it definitely is. It's freaking fantastic. Um, It's not the greatest thing in the world, though. I'm just kind of somewhat disappointed at, like, it wasn't very, what's the word I'm looking for? I don't want to describe it as Courage the Cowardly Dog-esque with its comedy, because that's it's, it's leaps and bounds away from that. But it's not as funny as I thought it would be after reading that review, okay? However, I will say... Story-wise, how this was done is pretty good. My expectations were exceeded because I didn't think I'd like this show at all. Because I thought it'd be a show for freaking girls. Okay? So I will say, simply because of that, I'm going to give this a nice... I'll give it a 6.5 out of 10. I think that's a very fair score, you know? What about you? I thought... um... Like you said, I kind of had the opposite thing because I was like, okay, it's calm, it's phony, you know, you never know. I mean, obviously, the whole idea that it might be a super girly show kind of crosses your mind, but you never know with these type of things, so you got to see what it's saying first. Uh-huh. But um, the thing that worried me, and this is what always worries me when I look for, like, cartoons for us to review in the week, it's out of a um, TVY7 rating. Cause, you know, when Which you hear I that, would you think, say this is. Because when you see that, you think, um, okay, yeah, it's going to be super kitty. But, oh, I like super... Because I, I, I feel like to say... Because my first thought, even though it's a bit extreme, it's kind of Do- Dora-esque when I see Ooh. that. But, but then again, you know, when I think... When, it, when I really think about it, SpongeBob and Fairly Odd Parents and all that shit is, is, is TVY7. Right. So, it's not fair, and um, that kind of proved my point, because this episode, I don't feel like this episode is kiddish at all. It definitely wasn't adult, which I don't think it right. needs to be adult to not be kiddish. It just needs to not, it, do, it doesn't seem, it doesn't seem talk down me. It just seems like if they laugh all of this, this shit out. And I feel like that's the thing that, I feel like that's the line that a lot of people have issues, or a lot of shows have issues with, is like, to make a good to make a good kid show, just leave the adult out instead of trying to make it kiddie. Because that's the problem. That's a, you'll see a lot of shows be too kiddish. And then it's be like, yeah. 
But this one, you could tell they just left the adult out. I mean, they left some right. things in there, but they just left the adult out instead of trying to make it for kids. Right, right. But um, I'm saying all that I have to say is I, I'm just happy it wasn't super kiddish because that was my worry and how, why I thought I might not have liked it. Um, no, and, and, and that's what I was trying to basically state in my review. Like, like I said, one, I thought, okay, yeah, this might be a very girly show. And two, with, with a name like Pony in the title, you can't expect me to sit there and take that seriously and be like, oh, yo, I'm going to watch this show. It's Pony, yo. It's going to be dope as hell. Like, and, and, and that's what I was trying to convey. Not that it wasn't for adults, but it was going to be too kiddish. But continue. Listen, are you going to watch the new show coming to Adult Swim called Thug Life, <laughs> Thug Life Pony? I mean, simply because it's an Adult Swim show? Yes. But Thug I will Life tell Pony. You, I will tell you that just watching this increased my chances of watching it dramatically. So, <laughs> and, and the fucked up thing is, that's going to actually end up being kiddish. <laughs> Thug Life Pony? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But um, I thought that comedy in this episode was good. The story was good, even if it was a bit cliche in some of the things it did. Like, because I would even say, I mean, granted, yeah. There's no realistic other way you couldn't get them over the, over the fear. But, like, the whole, you got to save a loved one, and that's the reason you get over your fear, is, like, the biggest cliche in the book. Oh, but, yeah. Absolutely. But, hey, you know, listen, it's the first episode. I mean, yeah, you could argue a sense that it's the first episode. Maybe they should try to do something super original. But, hey, I mean, you know, you shouldn't expect too much from certain things. So I think I'm going <laughs> to give it... Um, I, I think I'll give it a... I think I'll give it a... Uh, I want to give it a seven. But I feel like that's too high. But I also feel like it's... I, you know what? I'm going to give this a very unusual rating. I'm going to give it a 6.8. Because <laughs> I don't think it's okay. as low as a 6.7, but I don't think it's necessarily a 7 either. Right. So a 6.8. Okay. Okay. That's interesting. Look at you changing shit up here. Um, like I said, it's, it's, it's not a bad show at all. Will I continue to watch it? Absolutely. I definitely, I mean, I'll be honest, probably not. But am I going to not really watch it because it's bad? No. I'm not, probably not going to watch it because this isn't going to be the forefront of my mind. And, you know, like I said, we talk cartoons and we do it daily, baby. So I'm always watching some other cartoon shit for the channel. Will I definitely get the chance, will I definitely go to watch it if I had a chance and it's, you know, there on the TV or something? Perhaps, man. I'm not going to sit there and decline it because it's not a bad series at all. Okay. Now, I will say all I'm saying with that is this didn't really hook me is what I'm saying. However, it was a very decent episode. So there y'all have it, man. That has been our review for season one, episode one of It's Pony. And this episode is titled Plants. Y'all know what we do, man. I'm Ray Rollins. He's Alex Payne. I'm the cartoon kid, by the way. And this is the cartoon kid channel where we talk cartoons and we do it daily, baby. Toss your comments down in the comments box below. Tell us if you like this episode. Tell us if you hate it. And tell us if you have any uh, ideas on shows or episodes for us to review in the future. But with all that being said, we will see you when we see you. Peace out, everybody.